All right, hi everybody, this is John Jay. It's August 5th, thanks for joining. You can see more content at privacyfight.io. Uh, there's some videos I put on, um, I publish on YouTube at the Privacy Fight channel. Privacy Fight is one word. I'm adding a help desk to aceofcoins.com. So there should be a number in a chat window and a ticketing system. Uh, you guys can have access to more information faster. You can also reach me that way. It's not set up yet, we're working on it, should be soon. Appreciate your patience. Um, and I hope that uh, my comments about what we're going to discuss this uh, this evening are uh, are helpful. And I, I'm sorry about that if it's a, a mundane. If it's mundane, if you think it's boring, please throw something at me, okay? Let me know. Because um, I just, I've just i been receiving a lot of questions on this subject, and it looks like we have a lot of new people. And some of the people are really smart at what they do, and they're just kind of new to this concept. They're new to cryptos, and then they kind of get this other information, and then there's like, wow, too much information. So I just wanted to take a step back and just review stuff and uh, the, the way... I want to review a, a basic outline of how I recommend things. And also I want to give some examples. All right. So it kind of is a benchmark or a guide for everyone to follow. All right. So, and then um, just, we can ask, we can do questions and answers uh, here. Okay. So let me just start an intro here. I wanted to answer a couple of questions and I just got this on an email a few minutes ago and I thought it was really perfect that I could just, it was, these are great questions. I mean, this is the kind of thing. So this person is asking me not to single somebody out. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying it's a common question, actually. I noticed some CPAs on the internet. <laughs> some CPAs are saying, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read to you what this person is saying that CPAs are saying. So he's got two comments or two questions. Regarding staking, um, I set up uh, Spinnaker Wind Ventures, okay, with, uh, with la okay, so he set up an LLC last year, okay, and he's holding his cryptos and offline wallets. So it's not necessary to use an LLC yet with off offline wallets. It's good when you're working with third parties because any 1099s would come from third parties like Coinbase, not your, you know, whatever, whatever offline, like your ledger, obviously. He says, many of my cryptos are also staking in those wallets. Um, he's not going to get a 1099, but he says, I've heard from CPAs that staking rewards should be treated as ordinary income. No, they could be treated as ordinary income, but your income is not gonna be in gold coins or uh, medallions or shells or cryptographic coins, okay? That is not income. If you say it is, then it will be. So I would change the word should to could not necessary. He says, but since I have the tax immunity trust, and I'll explain about that. He's talking about the LLC, <clears throat> the LLC that I recommend. And I know a lot of people refer to it as a trust. And sure, it operates like a trust, but I just really like to call it an LLC. There are some components of it that are like a trust, okay? I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be confusing. I hope I'm not, but uh, it is, in fact, an LLC. It is the account holder. It is a limited liability company. Um, it is written so that any tax liability can be deferred in a way that you want. So yeah, I guess you can call it a tax immunity trust if you want. He's asking, does this shield the rewards from any sort of income tax? Okay, so let's just say, I'm gonna imagine that rewards means from staking, he's getting a return. So let's say if I'm staking Litecoin, I know I'm speaking out of school here, but if I'm staking Litecoin, and I put in one Litecoin and it's worth 1.7 Litecoins later, that is not profit. That is not taxable income. If I measure it in dollars, it's still not taxable income. If I sell it for dollars, okay, now we're talking. Okay, if I do it in my name that way. The CPA is telling you to account for it as if it's paid in dollars. That's your problem. If you wanna do it that way, it is not required. I'm sorry, CPAs, but you tell me when I'm required to count an asset and measure it in dollars and then report it as if I received the dollars if I'm not used accrual-based accounting. Somebody tell me that. You guys need to go back to school. So let's just take the responsibility, okay, those of you like me who are investors in cryptos, and let's think for ourselves and stop following CPAs on the internet. Okay, who knows who's writing this stuff? It's probably IRS agents or somebody. All right, so I, he's asking, do I need to file anything? No. 
I currently have not filed any reports for the company. Um, I understand that it's not required due to the tax trust. Okay, fine. That is correct. If the LLC that I've written up for that purpose, and, and by the way, this whole thing is about your accounting practice. So if you do what in a CPA says, you will do, you will follow an accounting practice that will lead the LLC into a tax liability. There's nothing wrong with that. It just costs you more money and it's unnecessary. You can use your LLC as a pass-through. What that means is it is the money is considered to still be in transit. It has not reached a destination where a taxpayer has to account for it. So even though it gets paid to the LLC, and even though the LLC has an EIN, and even though it gets a 1099, that does not create a situation where the IRS has to reconcile anything. There's nothing to do. All right. So I hope that answers the question. Stop 